Have you tried the Dom Bullet Quick Buy website yet? Just click and you can see prices and details on all of our cars, SUVs, and trucks. Browse all our vehicles under $15,000 too. We're always finding new inventory, so stop by often. And don't forget to check out the Dom Bullet Deal of the Month while you're there. Any questions? Call or email us from the comfort of your own home. Do it the better way at Don Bullock Chevrolet and tell them Jennifer sent you. Girl Talk, and we are here, uh, Connie and I. Yes. Hey, Connie. Good morning. Yes. With Michael Harper, and we are here at Harper's Garden and Stone Center, better known to a lot of you as Harper's Nursery. Michael doesn't care what we call oh, it, but no. it is now Harper's Garden and Stone Center because he has gone from just flowers Once. to a lot of things that we're going to show you today. So, I want to start out though, Michael. Um, this is a three generation business so far that's right my grandfather started it uh pretty much back in like 1959. Mm -hmm. uh, my father was in it also at the time mm -hmm. and uh, they basically carried it on through and then you know of course i was i grew up in the mm -hmm. business so uh you know as i got older <laughs> i i took on and added mm -hmm. on a few mm -hmm. different things and over the years we've changed out a lot of stuff of mm -hmm. what we you know used to do and to now we're doing a lot of stone and we changed the name a little bit as far as the retail part right. goes. Just to so. say what you actually do now. It's not just nursery, it's, right. it's a lot more than a nursery. Right, we do uh, a lot of stone, mm -hmm. uh, we do pavers, uh, we actually do like the fireplaces, the prefab fireplaces mm -hmm. that are put in. Uh, they're guaranteed to draw, where a lot of times unless you have a really good mason, mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to get an outdoor mm -hmm. fireplace to draw correctly. Right. Yeah. Uh, we do the gas logs <coughs> for the fireplaces. Uh, and so we, you will actually, and we're showing you a picture of this now on the camera, right, this right. fireplace, you are actually able to buy those, the kits from here. That's right. And uh, we also have people that can install them for you. And okay. uh, they come in uh, basically um, as a prefab type kit that goes up uh, pretty easily with a mason doing it, mm -hmm. uh, or someone that knows how, who's had experience with it. But then you can put brick on it, you can put stone on it, whatever mm -hmm. you like to do. And uh, you know, it will it will draw, like I say, where a lot of fireplaces mm -hmm. may not draw if you build them from scratch, mm -hmm. unless you have a, a really good mason. Now Michael, we're with. talking about outdoor fireplaces. Outdoor fireplaces. Outdoor yeah. fireplaces. Absolutely. And, and we're here at, in, in <clears throat> Michael's backyard. He has made it just a, Wonderland, a pure <laughs> tropical wonderland. An oasis. <laughs> yeah. And well, he's got a sign up um, at the gate that says Harper's Island. Island. So I really thought that was interesting. But you can also do your backyard like this or however you want to. Mm -hmm. um, if you'll just come down here or call Michael, you can get a consultation. He'll come out to your house, see what you have, right, Michael? That's, Tell us about that's that. That's correct. Uh, yes, uh, we go out and look at people's yards. Uh, if they want to do something like a back backyard uh, cookout area, or you know, fire pits, fireplaces, or just a place to sit, you know, in the yard mm -hmm. with a patio, mm -hmm. we go out and look at it, help them design it up, mm -hmm. help them to uh, use the correct plants, uh, you know, get it situated in, in mm -hmm. a way that would give the best look for them. Right. Uh, we also have an architect that we can send out that can do a architectural drawing mm -hmm. for them, so they can understand. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know exactly what they're they're looking at, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know we do that pretty much free of charge. Mm -hmm. Right, and, the, and there's no that. job that's too small. No, no, no. You, we do we do anything from a little twelve by twelve patio in the backyard, uh -huh. you know, with a few plants around it, uh, to pretty much a swimming pool or to something like we've got going on yeah. here. So you Which know, is, we we actually did this as a display so our customers could come down. Uh, see the fireplace like it is, mm -hmm. see our cook stations, the type mm -hmm. of grills that we would be carrying. Mm -hmm. uh, they can see all kinds of plants. We do a lot of palm trees. A uh, lot of, so you do love, sell palm trees, yeah. any size, any well, size. several sizes. Yeah, we do anything from a, like a three gallon that's about three foot tall up to uh, something that's about 12 foot tall. 
And Michael, you told me before <clears throat> we started that these palm trees will grow in this area. Yes, exactly. These are windmill palms. Uh -huh. We do only only really two real types of palms, and that's a windmill and a pendle palm. Uh -huh. And uh, most of the ones you see around the pool area out here, they're windmills, and uh -huh. uh, they're zoned down to uh, pretty much around seven degrees, which okay. that would only burn. It would have to mm -hmm. get down to zero for several mm -hmm. nights in order to kill them. To actually kill them. Uh, mm -hmm. So they are very cold hardy mm -hmm. and they will live here. Most of these trees have been in my yard here now for at least five years. Mm -hmm. so. And we've got some that's 15 years old we've had wow. here in North Carolina. And, Rocky Mountain. and you can tell people how to take care of them too. Oh, correct. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's <coughs> certain type fertilizers you need to use for a palm tree. They mm -hmm. like that better than uh, just your standard Osmocote mm -hmm. like you would use on most right. trucks. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, Epsom salt, they like Epsom salt. It cleanses the root system. So wow. that's, that's really good for them. Uh -huh. But a lot of little things that... We know by growing them and dealing with them, and we do grow a lot of them right here at the uh -huh. nursery. So, I want to go back to the grill. Mm -hmm. Now, this grill, you do sell the grills. Yeah, the grill, we do have a, a distributorship uh, for the Wilmington Grill, mm -hmm. and uh, we can do the kind I've got in here is just a regular standard stand up, but we have a we have one that just sits in place. So if you okay. do a like a stone cookout station mm -hmm. or a brick cookout station, uh, you can set one right in. So you okay. sell the stone the stone cookout stations too yeah. to put mm -hmm. the grills. Right. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Very good. Just so many things. Okay, Michael, I see that you've gotten a pool. Yeah. yeah. With mm -hmm. pavers all around it. You sell the pavers. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the stone and all the brick and the what do you call all this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we do the uh, the pavers, retaining walls. Uh -huh. uh, so pretty much we've got some uh, qualified they certified uh -huh. uh, people that do do the installation on pavers, retaining walls. Uh, we have also, like I say, lots of stone masons mm -hmm. that we deal with. Some really good ones that can uh, come in and they can do either veneer, dry stack, you know, whatever you like. We do real stone as well as cultured stone. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, a cultured stone <coughs> is a nice stone to use in certain circumstances mm -hmm. where the real stone would get really costly trying mm -hmm. to make cut blocks where uh -huh. you can take a cultured stone and bring it in, you can't tell the difference. Now what Not about as long the, as you're doing a good quality. Uh, you know. Very good. What about the wall? Now I love the wall back there around the pool. Yeah, the, yeah. the tell wall us about that. The wall back here behind the pool, that, that basically is a it's a uh, cinder block wall that's put up. Then they come back, of course this is veneered mm -hmm. instead of dry stack. And uh, when they come in they'll put a like a scratch coat on. And then they come back in and they'll stick stick the stone on and fill the come back in with the grout okay, joint. Just in like you would think. Beautiful. Veneer, but now yeah. stack means that the wall is actually made out of stone. No, actually, what they do is they take the same same one right here, uh -huh. like the block wall. Right. But they were going to do a dry stack, uh -huh. and they'll come in and they'll the pieces will be more narrow, thinner, but a little thicker. Uh -huh. And they'll have to be if it's real stone, they have to break them or cut them okay. in order to go in. Mm -hmm. And with the cultured stone, <coughs> they're already pre-cut. They're only like an inch thick. But they could be two inches, three inches to four inches okay. in depth, and mm -hmm. uh, they sit right in and stack right up, stack. and it looks like they're this thick. Wow. So. Okay. Very good. And these are called pavers, also, yeah, even these, though they these look are sort of like here. Uh, beautiful, beautiful yeah, flooring. It's just absolutely gorgeous. For this. it absolutely is, and Edward is showing you that now. And but. it, um, and you have, you have someone who could do. Anything that needs to be done with stonework. That's exactly that right. right. Okay. I had a lot of help doing this. Uh, we had a lot of the uh, landscapers and uh, stonemasons mm -hmm. and uh, you know the ones that put in the uh, pavers and retainer walls come out and help us do this. So okay. we had a lot of help with it. And I noticed out in front of that the actual uh, I call it nursery, mm -hmm. but you had bass or wire cages like yeah. with all the all different, different kinds of stones, of stones. Yeah. yeah so people can come and look mm -hmm. see what you like best exactly. absolutely and we do a lot of the we do a lot of the uh the ground cover stone i call it uh you know your one to three inch type stone mm -hmm. right i noticed uh, that i too. use that pretty much all around the uh -huh. pool area and uh you know we set up a pool area yesterday that uh -huh. we used that in and what's so nice about it is when you come out you know your pool area you want to keep your pool clean oh with, absolutely with this, least work as possible Absolutely. so basically uh, what you're doing is you can come in with a blower uh -huh. and just blow the stone right out uh, you know blow the leaves out blow any trash out of it right. and blow it right on away into a, to another area 
without uh, blowing the stone, stone away. away as long That's as you right. use something big enough. Interesting. Yeah. So, well, yes. it's it's a beautiful place. It I'm is telling beautiful. You, you have done, I know. Well, Not you. only do is it a show place, but it's some place you can enjoy, right? Oh yeah, right yeah. I, I get a little door. bit of benefit. <laughs> out it's of like that. paradise out yeah, here. Yeah, it really yeah. is. I mean, <laughs> everybody can have paradise in their backyard, backyard. can't they, Michael? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. All everybody can. Call us. Just All come you down have to, to do Harper's. is call Michael. Well, mm -hmm. we're we're gonna have to take a break. Yeah, we're we, gonna go in the tiki bar. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> we'll find out where he got his inspiration from the tiki bar. So you stay with us. We'll be right back. Are you just starting out on your own and want to be independent? Do you have a family and need a bigger home? Are the kids moving out and are you downsizing? First Carolina Realty can help. A one or two bedroom apartment or house for those starting out. A three or four bedroom home for a growing family. Rentals, sales, new homes, pre-owned homes, investment property in the city or in the country. Call First Carolina Realty. Now is a good time to make that move. Real estate prices are right, interest rates are low, and there is a fantastic selection of homes available. First Carolina Realty is a full-service licensed real estate firm with offices located at 1100 West Thomas Street, open 9 to 5.30 Monday through Friday. If you have rental properties and are tired of the headaches associated with managing them yourself, or if you're looking for a new management team to manage your rental properties, call First Carolina Realty at 252-985-2321. Visit our webpage at firstcarolinarealty.com. We will gladly help you with all your real estate needs. Don Bullock Chevrolet in Rocky Mount has been a part of your community for over 100 years. Through the good times and bad, we've been there for you. Whether it's your first car, an SUV for a growing family, or a truck for your business. New or pre-owned, Don Bullock has the best prices, selection, and service. I'm Jennifer, and I want to invite you to a dealership rich in history and focused on the future. Do it the better way at Don Bullock Chevrolet. Harper's Nursery is now Harper's Garden and Stone Center. Your one-stop shop for plants, bushes, trees, all your gardening needs, and now Harper's has slate, flagstone, decorative stone, and even boulders. Harper's has bamboo rolls and panels for decoration and fences. We can help you design and construct a chimney grill, rock patio, tiki bar, stone retaining walls, even construct the backyard beach of your dreams. Visit Harper's Garden and Stone Center and get ideas or inspiration on gardening or outdoor living space. You bring your imagination. We supply the material and labor to make it happen. Harper's Garden and Stone Center has been serving our area for over 50 years and is located on Oak Level Road between Rocky Mountain and Nashville. Our staff is friendly and helpful, and please say hi to Harley when you visit. Michael and Jan Harper invite you to Harper's Garden and Stone Center, 2145 Oak Level Road. Open Monday through Saturday, rain or shine. And we are back with Harper's Nursery or Harper's Garden and Stone Center, Center whichever yeah. you want to call it. <laughs> but we are now moved into the Tiki Bar. And I absolutely love this. Michael, what was your inspiration for building this? Well, let's see. We were on a vacation down in Mexico, and uh, we stayed at a resort down there, and they had uh, little cabanas, and they had a little tiki bar sign on them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I really liked the way they were mm -hmm. set up, and they, they kind of did with the palm trees, mm -hmm. and they had a lot of stone in their landscapes uh -huh. and stuff, and just something that I really like myself. And, oh, uh, yeah. I told my wife, I said, we get home, I'm going to build this in my backyard. So when we got home, you did. a couple months later, I started working on it. And it's, you know, it's been about four or five years playing around. Wow. You know, not working the all the time, but, yeah. you know, spare time doing it. You know, that might be. And the floor is beautiful. Again, the floor is, is the, the stone yeah. pavers. I mm -hmm. mean, it's just absolutely beautiful floor. Stone, you can't go wrong with stone. No, it no. is just yeah. so, so beautiful. And, and that's what the floor is made of. And then Michael had the building built, right? That's right. And it's not built. something he necessarily does, but if you like it, he can hook you up with the people to right. do it. Right, exactly. He absolutely can. So this is another neat uh, thing to put on the property. 
you know, with your tropical backyard or what have you or whatever you want. Um, another good idea. If you're going to have visitors, I'm sure they yes. love to come to oh, your yeah. tiki bar, oh, don't exactly. they? Yeah. We're waiting for Michael to serve, serve us right us now. We want service. <laughs> we are right here and waiting for really service. And really fixed this up very nicely. He has his little, um, he has a refrigerator, of course, mm -hmm. and he has his little sink back here. But one of the things is the bar itself and this beautiful bamboo. And he and Michael sells the bamboo yes, right do. here at Harper's. Right. They sell the bamboo. So that's something that you can add into your decor if that's something that you like. And you, I think this comes in all different. I mean, you've got it in panels. You got yeah, we do it. Actually, we do the bamboo in panels, and we also do it in rolls. And we do two types of bamboo. We do a black bamboo, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what this is here, mm -hmm. black bamboo. And uh, we do a natural color bamboo. Okay. And they're all dried, and they're treated, so they'll hold up pretty good outside well. mm -hmm. to the weather or uh -huh. inside. People use them actually on walls and stuff to give them that little tropical yeah. look. Mm -hmm. yeah, really. And it is tropical looking in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. I love the color and of the walls. The color, yeah, that's kind of a Mexico thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> Those a lot colors, of colors yeah. we got from there, you know, uh -huh. and some little stuff hanging up. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Make, making it look like a, another part of paradise. Absolutely, exactly it really it does. In fact, I think Jimmy Buffett might start singing anytime now. I'm waiting, <laughs> I'm waiting. Crank up the music, yeah. the Jimmy Buffett music. I guarantee you'll hear it. Now, yeah. do you, use, you can actually use this year round, is that right? Correct, we have, uh, I have heat and air out here. So, you know, when we shut this off and, you know, sitting outside with the fireplace in the fall and the winter, uh, we've been out here at Christmas time. Uh, you know, we, we yeah, light I, it up at Christmas. Mm -hmm. And wow. uh, we've had it with snow on the ground a couple of years ago out mm -hmm. here and had a fire going in the fireplace and, you know, oh, yeah. kids those over outdoor, had a good time. Those fireplaces nice. are really nice. They do they generate are. a lot of heat. They, yeah. they really do. And uh, especially uh, the one like we have there, just mm -hmm. because of the way it's designed, you're not losing everything mm -hmm. straight, straight up the up. stack. You, uh -huh. You're right. getting a lot of heat coming back in for you. So. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to talk about this ceiling thing and how unique. Yeah. Where did you get that? Ah, uh, let's see. I think that came from Lowe's. Uh, <laughs> I've never yeah, seen, I've only seen one a, like that. I've only seen a few of them. And we, yeah. We, I think we bought two of them at the uh -huh. time when I saw them. But they have wow. I think they're probably see, something seasonal. Yeah, them. Uh -huh. I'm sure they are. Because I, I haven't neat. seen them there, but that, it is beautiful. I asked about it earlier. Yeah. And of course, Michael has his television. Believe it or not, folks, he has a flat screen, big flat screen TV on the outside of the tiki bar so he can sit underneath mm -hmm. the the canopy and, and watch his TV, but he also oh, has yeah. a small one up inside the bar. So That's the bartender correct. can watch TV too, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow, so, okay. Yeah, so everything is just first rate and it's absolutely beautiful, but we don't want to forget that the stones here are the main feature, the floor, and then the outside of the tiki bar mm -hmm. is, is covered with the stone. It absolutely, is, and Michael sells perfect. that right here at Harper's. That's right. All the stone you need. And you also sell, um, if you want a walkway, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you've got the gray, uh, what do you call the rock that you put down for the driveway, for the walkways, um, flat. I forgot what I was thinking about. But anyway, pavers. not no, pavers, no. but um, anyway, you can do all of that. You can help people design their walkways. Sure. Mm -hmm driveways right. what have you yes and we and you know in here like on the inside here we did i did pavers in here and outside mm -hmm. if you notice i really don't have any cement throughout this whole area mm -hmm. and uh you know the reason i did that is because cement over a period of a few years starts to mm -hmm. kind of change mm -hmm. color starts to look a little bad and if you talk to anybody who does cement, they'll tell you one thing about cement. It cracks. It cracks. Right. Okay? It does. I know cement that. Cement will always uh -huh. crack. With the pavers, see, you can put the pavers down 20 years from now. They'll look as good as the they day do. they were put in because they can be clean and they don't crack. And if I had to put a cement floor in here, uh, I would have ended up putting a stone floor on top or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. in that range. Something to cover up the cracks. It's, right. Well, you know, it would have been something that yeah. I wouldn't have wanted a cement floor in here. Right. Nobody, you know, you yeah. don't want a cement floor in an area like this. Right. Sure. So, so you know, what you do basically is I cut out the step of the cement by doing the pavers. Mm -hmm. And with the pavers, all you're doing basically is putting a, you know, like a, anywhere from four to six inch uh, crush and run, run base and then a then screening or sand base, and then put your pavers in with your polymeric sand. Uh, once you wet that down, it is pretty much sealed mm -hmm. and that, takes okay. care of it. 
Very good. Wow. Very and you'll good. tell them everything to get. You yeah. sell it all right here. We carry everything you need. Right. And you do sell growing plants. I want to mention that. I mean, garden plants, yeah. tomatoes, mm -hmm. and because I bought a bunch from yeah. here, and tomatoes. some of his tomatoes exactly. already had tomatoes on them. Yeah, oh, right. and the things that you're going to see, I mean, at no place is, uh, Paradise is not perfect unless you've got lots of flowers. And we don't yeah. want to forget while we're talking about stone mm -hmm. that Harper still has lots and lots, lots of landscape of flowers, of trees, and, and, and all kinds. And flowers for every occasion. So don't forget that. Can you and, plant um, trees this time of year? Is it too late? Well, no, it's not really too late to plant them. Um, you know, I've always had a good rule of thumb here. You know, I'm too busy to plant in the spring. So, and I like flowers. You can look around my yard. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I do my planting actually when our season is over. Over. And yeah. we do all our potting. So we're, we're a growing nursery too. We right. grow plants. And uh, we grow lots of them. And we have to pot them up after our selling season's mm -hmm. over. So that's pretty much in the yeah. late spring, early summer, mm -hmm. where we're actually out potting plants mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Wow. Because your growing season is now. Mm -hmm. The trick is you've got to keep them watered the first summer. Yeah, right. And it makes no difference if you plant it in December or September. Mm -hmm. That next summer, it's got to be watered. Right. If it's not watered that next summer, it doesn't take off. Uh -huh. So I can plant like July, mm -hmm. keep it watered through that first summer. Then the next summer, I don't have to water it usually Fine, because it's much, taking good root it's, and yeah. taking home. You've got plenty of rose bushes. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, beautiful rose yeah, bushes. Yeah. Knockouts. You knockouts, got knockouts. And we have a lot of drifts that are down mm -hmm. on the far side of the mm -hmm. pond, but they're not blooming right now. They're yeah. getting ready to. They'll be blooming another well, week. Those probably. are beautiful, well. the pink. Yeah, yeah, that looks good with the Japanese man. Yeah, they are absolutely beautiful. Well, Michael, this has been wonderful. We appreciate your time. We appreciate your appearing with us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you, it's, it's been just lots of fun to really see has. and to be here. And uh, thanks for having us. Well, we're about to wrap up here at Michael Harper's Paradise. Harper. That's what we call it, yeah. Michael Harper's Paradise. <laughs> I mean, really. Michael um, is the owner and he of, and his uh, wife Jan and his wife Jan of Harper's Garden and Stone Center, right? Uh, formerly known and better known as Harper's Nursery. Mm -hmm. And I tell Flowers, you, this hasn't been this been, everything. It, th this this is, has been an experience. It's an experience to come here and to see all of this. It's something that you can come and see if you want to go to Harper's. Um, Garden and Stone Center and look at the stone, talk to Michael and all of his crew about uh, designing your own backyard. Mm -hmm. And Small. even if they want to see what Michael's done, they That's are very, right. Michael's very willing to bring you down to two doors down to his house yeah. and let you just look at Get how it's ideas. done. Yeah. 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 yeah, and see, you might want a backyard barbecue yeah. or an outdoor fireplace which I would really love to have. Mm -hmm. And behind us, I'm sure you can see his beach area. Oh because, yeah, that's his beach. Yeah, he's got his little beach set up with sand, plenty of sand. Sand, lounge chairs, and, uh, so water, it's, um, it's absolutely beautiful. Palm trees. Palm trees, everything. It's we true. might, Connie, we might sneak out here one day and just, just have a relaxing day. Yeah. Michael won't even know we're here. That, well, that's true. We just drive <laughs> up and walk in. <laughs> no, um, it has really been, doesn't work that way. Yeah, but, it um, has been a lot of fun. But if you are designing your own patio, um, you know that this is the place to come. It absolutely is. Harper's Island right here. But um, no, Harper's Stone and Gar Garden Stone Center to meet all of your needs. Stone. And I'll tell you, he has great pine straw. Really oh, okay. big on pine mm -hmm. straw too. He sells lots of pine straw yeah. and stuff like that. And he's even got bird baths. He's got bird houses. Yeah. He's got a um, an, a showroom, mm -hmm. and you can go in that. It's down at the nursery. Go in the showroom. Look at the bird houses and bird feeders and what have you, and all kinds of stuff in there as well. He sells topsoil, mm -hmm. soil, garden soil, you name it. He does it. Yeah. So, and you know, stonework has become very, very popular. Oh very yes, very popular. And uh, as Michael says, uh, putting pavers and all around your swimming pool is really the way to go because mm -hmm. concrete it does have its problems. And uh, the pavers, of course, they have that give and take mm -hmm. that are necessary when the weather and the different temperatures are there. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly right. Yeah. Okay. Harper's so, Garden and Stone Center. Let's tell them how to get there. Get here. Well, I think the easiest way for me was to uh, come uh, 64 and take the Red Oak exit, mm -hmm. go in front of Nash Community College, 
and go through uh, the first stop Cross light over across Sunset. Sunset. And the next traffic light or Oak Level Road. is Oak Level Road. And mm -hmm. then you just make a right on Oak Level and you come down and you mm -hmm. can't miss it. You just or can't miss it. if you're coming down Halifax, just turn uh, turn right on Oak uh, Level Oak Road. Level Road. They're on yeah. Oak Level Road. Can't miss it. Right here on the left, Harper's Garden and Stone Center. And thank you all for watching Girl Talk today. We appreciate today. it. Until next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye-bye.